Hey guys, welcome back for another video. So today I'm going to be doing some light modding and kind of testing a theory. And if it works out, I'm going to be doing some stuff to my other watches, at least the ones with leather straps. So what we have here is a very inexpensive, but beautiful, simple dress watch from Orient. Very inexpensive. Don't pay more than 150 bucks for something like this. They are a very old Japanese brand. They use very durable, but no frills movements. No problems with them whatsoever. And the band actually is very nice on this one. And I do want to keep using it because it matches the color and it's soft enough. It's a low quality, genuine leather, but it fits and I have no problem with it. I do want to change the clasp, but that might be, I don't know, maybe I'll put it in this video. It depends on how this first mod works out. But what I want to do is change it to a quick release. If you're unfamiliar with quick releases, instead of having a little push pin, that you have to use a tool on and you stick this tool in here, snag it, push it a little bit, get it out of the hole and you can take it out of the lugs. The problem with that is you have to have the tool and if it slips, you can possibly scratch something. You can possibly poke through something and you know, it's a little fidgety, but these couldn't be simpler. With this, you just slide that little lever. It pushes it over retracts part of the pin by the spring and you unclip it and that's it. I mean, <laughs> it couldn't be simpler. Just flip this on or off and it's secure. Super easy. Now the cool thing is you can convert non quick release straps to quick release straps. I think <laughs> this is going to be our working test. I got some drill bits here and the smallest one, the 1 16th, if you're using SAE fits, and I think all I'm gonna to have to do is drill two little holes to make this slot right here. Lining it up, it looks pretty simple. You just take the pin and you figure out where the hole is gonna to need to start. In the outer position, your two end pins are all extended evenly. And with it in the center position, this one is flush. And then with it to the inner position, it's the same distance over with it completely out here. And that's important for getting this pin in or out of this band. All you do is you make sure it's wide enough here, slide it to the inner position, and you just bend your strap down a little bit here and your pin will slide right out through the hole. And that's how you put it in as well. So that's why it's wider than it actually needs to be to disengage from your lugs. So all I have to do is get myself some pins, yay. Cheap on Amazon. Got a big bag here. There's a whole bunch of these for sale. I'll put a link down below to this bag. I got this particular one because it was a good deal, number one. I think it was nine bucks for all of these, but it's obviously enough to do a whole lot of straps. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take off this strap. No, you know what? I'm gonna test, had this bright idea just before I started the video on this strap, because <laughs> this is one I actually don't care about. Verify on here. Yeah, it actually starts at the ball. So just about two widths of the actual little ball. That's where I want to be drilling. I'm gonna stick a toothpick in here. It's snug. I just want it in there for a little bit of protection. So in case I jump through real quick, I don't end up going through the top side. So I don't need to shove it all the way through, but it's at least past where I'm gonna be drilling. All right, stand by. I'm gonna grab something else to drill on. Let's see what happens. That started to drift. It started to roll over the toothpick. This may indeed be a lot easier without the toothpick because that's what it's trying to roll out on. Let me see how it goes. It might be just super easy. I might be overthinking shooting through there, but I think this will be a lot easier to actually get the drill bit in because now it's a flat surface and it doesn't want to roll off that toothpick. So let me try this first. If this doesn't work, we'll alter our plans again. This is why it's a test band. I don't care if I screw this one up, I'm never gonna use it. So I can already tell this is staying in the band <laughs> like I wanted it to. And it's actually trying to pierce through it just with the weight of the drill. Uh, you can't see it. I'm straight down with the drill here. That's what I'm doing. So just pretend you're watching me do this. I'll show you in a second. Yeah, that works fine. All right, 
Let's give that a shot. Ah, so close. So close. Oh wait, there's a little flap in there I can take out. That might do it. There we go. All right. Now, let's try fitting it. See what happens. There we go. All right, test fit a quick release. One side in, nope, wrong side. One side in, move it over. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's nice. All right, so not the cleanest job, but I got one more side to practice on. Actually, I have more straps I can practice on before actually hitting one. So I'm gonna start farther over than I did last time. Let's get this end in. Oh yeah. All right, so that, that one looks a lot better. I mean, that looks like a stock application. That was just using the drill bits, three small holes, Starting in the right position, that's all it took. So that one, a little messy. Definitely give it a shot at a practice strap before you do this. But now look how easy it is. No tool, on and off. Change your straps, go about your day. That's what I want. All right, I'm gonna practice one more time on another strap, and then I'm gonna do this one, and then we're gonna change the clasp. I'm not really a fan of buckles. I like class. We're going to try this 20 some dollar one from Watch Gecko first. I'm not a huge fan of butterflies. I like single sided, but they are twice as expensive. And uh, putting a 40 or 50 dollar clasp on a 120 dollar watch doesn't make too much sense to me, but I'm willing to spend 20 something. We'll give that a shot. Super simple now. Love it. Okay, next. Okay, let's do the clasp. For that, gotta take these back off. Super easy now. So no real hard work for doing this. We just have to know which side goes to which. And on the clasp itself, we've got two ends that we're going to be attaching things to. This is your what would have been buckle end. And it has a little catch here, so it folds up and down. And you'll adjust this once you get it on your wrist, so don't worry about that. This part, we don't actually attach to anything. The strap is gonna go through it. You're gonna find your hole, cinch it down into place, and it stays there. So it's not permanent or anything. It's meant to be moved around as needed. So that's that side. This side is all we have to replace. And for that, all we're gonna do is take out the spring bar that's in the buckle. Same thing as what goes to the watch itself. Sometimes you'll see through holes and then you can just poke it here. Otherwise, you just use the standard fork tool and get that spring bar loose and out of the way. This will come off pin will slide out and then the tongue will be able to come out as well. And by the way, when you order your clasps, no matter which one you order, you have to know the size at the buckle. So even though you might have 20 up at your lugs, the clasp cares about the buckle width. So make sure that's either the same and you know what it is, or if not, measure it or look up your specs. So now we've got that. We can stick this in here and we just have to make sure that it goes the right side up. I usually flip these the wrong way. <laughs> so this is the part facing out. So it's going to attach like this. And of course this is way smaller than a lug. So sliding it around is a little tougher. There's that. All right, now we can put it on the watch and give it a test fit. That's all there is to a clasp, 
but man, it just makes life so much easier. So let's see, buckle side, buckle side goes up usually. That can also flip. So I've, I've had clasps where the mechanism was reverse. Single-sided can be like that. There we go. All right, so now we got that in. Now we're, I'm just gonna pick a hole, go near the end, because I have seven and a half inch wrists, and it's usually near the end that I end up with stuff. But it can also differ when you change class because the geometry has changed. So you may be uh, on one hole with a buckle and another on a clasp. That is totally common. So what you wanna do is close what was the buckle side first so your loops are in place. And then when your other side comes down, you feed the loop, or feed the strap through the loops and then push it down to lock. And that's a tad bit loose. So this one actually is going to follow what I was using for a buckle which is the last hole. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, the third from the last hole. Going one more tighter. So we'll just move that up and try again. Now, unfortunately, most of these in this kind of price range don't have any kind of micro adjustment, but you know, it's the same situation you're in with a regular buckle, so you're not losing any functionality. And there we go, that's actually perfect. And what I do, because I have larger wrists, is I cut these last loops off. I just haven't done it yet on this one because you can see that there's no point. I don't even have room to put the last loop on. It'll just kind of hug the tip and there's no point in having that just hang off there. It eventually just flops off anyway. So there we go. That is a perfect fit. A little smudgy smudge there. Love it. And then to take it off, you got your two little quick releases here. Doink, doink. Super easy to put on and off now. I love clasps. I hate buckles. I will definitely be converting the rest of my watches. I've got more of these coming in, but like I said, I prefer the single sides. So I do have a bunch coming in from different companies. Like I said, already tried the cheapies from Amazon. Skip them. They're absolute garbage. Sharp edges all stamped, very wobbly construction. You can hear them rattling around even when the thing is secured on your wrist. Let me put it that way. So this one, this is nice and solid. Only 20 some bucks. Now that was a Black Friday price. They're up a little bit more now, but from Watch Gecko. So there you go. Hope that helps. I'll have some more stuff coming, more projects to show you. Lots of uh, little stuff like this, you know? Just fun little inexpensive projects. And, Tomorrow I get my last part in for this project. This will be my next video, total cleaning, capacitor replacement, polishing, and we'll go from there. This is 25 years old, been off, completely dead for, geez, I don't know, 15 to 20 of that, something like that. So we'll get this back in showroom condition, back running, and stay tuned for that. See ya.